Hello, it's Mess here. Jenny's here. Thank you for joining my mum Jenny's and I on our road trip to New South Wales. If you have watched my previous two episodes, you will know that our first stay was at Hastings Point, followed by a two-day stay at Broom's Head. We left just before 10am on Friday morning and travelled to Stewart's Point. I rang and booked the site in advance and Mum and I were looking forward to a really nice relaxing weekend. While at Stewart's Point, we planned to visit Southwest Rocks again. We'd loved this area so much before, so we were very eager to return there. Unfortunately, our holiday did not go to plan. I'll share our experience with you. The Stewart's Point Convention Centre was very quiet when we arrived there. There were about 69 vacant sites for us to choose one from. It was good, as each site had power, town water and a train. There was also a selection of cabins available. I paid for three nights, Friday, Saturday and Sunday nights. On Saturday morning, my mum and I went to the little chapel that they have on the grounds. We met some of the ladies who worked at the convention centre and had a lovely time. That night, we had a terrible electrical storm. Thunder and lightning were absolutely horrendous. It came all under our motorhome and shook the whole motorhome. That was just before Meryl had her accident. I'm very careful what I put down the, the sink, the drains of my grey water tanks. There was a cup with coffee still in it that hadn't been drunk sitting on the sink. So I decided that I would take it outside and empty it into the drain outside and rinse it out under the tap. Well, I did that and I was coming back inside, climbing up the stairs and I'd got in just inside the, the motorhome door when one of my knees gave way. It just collapsed under me and I started falling backwards and I grabbed hold of the handle just outside the door as I went past but it didn't stop me from falling and hitting the ground really hard. My poor mum heard me scream as I hit the ground. <laughs> she came tearing out and found me lying on my back on the ground. When I heard Meryl scream, I raced as fast as I could to the door and she was lying on a heap on the ground. She'd hurt her back and her head banged it on the way down and I just didn't know what to do because she couldn't get up. She told me she thought her kidney was bleeding. It was especially stressful for my poor mum. I must say I have never been more terrified in my entire life because where we stayed was in complete isolation. As soon as I hit the ground, I knew I had severely injured myself. It was the worst pain that I have ever experienced and I couldn't even breathe properly. I eventually managed to get myself up and with my mum's assistance, I, I got back into the motorhome. I don't know what I would have done without my mum's help. She used some physio rub and, and rubbed my ribs and then I had some pain medication. It was too difficult to lie down. I wanted to call the ambulance, but Mayor wasn't sure if she would be covered in New South Wales. We found out that the nearest hospital was over 50 kilometres away and Meryl certainly wasn't able to drive there. She was in so much pain and I can't drive the motor home. I've had my licence for over 60 years, but I can't drive a motor home. I've never tried. I don't want to. And I was really too unwell after the fall to actually drive it. We were left with the decision as to what we were going to do. It was either return back home or continue on. We were closer to our destination. And also my sister had been really looking forward to seeing us. And if I went back home, we wouldn't get to see her. So we decided 
that we'd carry on rather than come home, which was 560 kilometres from Stewart's Point to where we live, we decided we'd go, keep going down to visit Glenda, which was only 355 kilometres away. So that's what we did on on the Monday morning. She couldn't drive on the Sunday. She was in too much pain. So she drove on the Monday morning. I was safe to drive, but I found out when I came to my first stop at a petrol station that I could not get in and out of the driver's seat down from the cabin door. I had to go round to the to the motorhome door and put the steps down and go out the, in and out that way. I kept driving towards Morissette where we were going to stay and the only places we stopped was to get fuel. When I arrived, a lady in the office at the Morissette showground was extremely helpful. I told her my situation and they actually managed to juggle some bookings around so that I could have one of their flat sites that they had because I couldn't bend down to put my levelers ramps down on the ground. When we arrived at Morissette, I went to see the doctor straight away and the doctor arranged for me to have medical imaging done the, the following morning. I went back to the doctor after the x-rays were done. He had a look at the x-rays and his report was that I didn't have any fractures which I was surprised at because I couldn't see that I could possibly be in this much pain if, if I hadn't broken anything. Normal things that you do in a motorhome were really difficult to do, like connecting hoses and rolling hoses up, getting the toilet cassette out, wheeling it over to a dump point to empty it, lifting it up while emptying it were excruciatingly painful for me to do. I actually had to show my mum how to do these things so she's very competent at being able to do all sorts of things now that she could never do before. The only good thing that came out of this trip was I developed a new set of skills before I just stayed in the motorhome inside and done working there but now because Meryl was so disabled I had to go outside and do all the things that I hadn't learned to do. <laughs> I can now connect the fresh water hose, the grey water hose, and empty the toilet consent, which I never did before. So there you go, you're never too old to learn. This was the second time we'd stayed at the Morissette showground. We got a site with power and water connection. There had been a couple of improvements since we'd last stayed here, such as a small kitchen and a little washing machine They'd added some tables and chairs. They also have new dump point facilities. We met two couples who had been on the road in their caravans for five years. Meeting other travellers and listening to their stories is one of my favourite parts of travelling. After a week at the campground, I just wasn't getting any better. I couldn't get down into the bed to sleep and it was everything was just so painful. My mum and I decided that we'd cut our holiday short and return back home. So that's what we did. Good morning, we're at the Morissette Showgrounds and we're just about to depart. 
we had a really long trip back it was really quite exhausting thankfully there were a couple of good rest areas along the way which we made use of and I ended up driving to about 30 kilometers north of Coffs Harbour and stopped in at a caravan park there for the night leaving before 10 the next morning to set back off home again On the way home, I got a, a message from the, the doctor's clinic to say that the doctor wanted to see me again. So I got my medical imaging reviewed at home and it was found out that I had three fractures on the left hand side of my ribs. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.